What will win in a drag race between a Tesla Model S Plaid and the world's fastest camera drone, which Red Bull has had specifically built to be able to keep up with and film a Formula One car as it races at full speed round a circuit? Well, I'm gonna find out. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Now let me tell you about this Tesla Model S Plaid. It has three electric motors. Combined, they put out 1,020 horsepower and 1,420 newton meters of torque. This thing weighs in at 2.2 tons and it costs 115,000 pounds. Now to find out about the drone, let's speak to one of the guys from the Dutch drone gods. They're the company that have built the drone for Red Bull. Ralph is gonna be flying the drone. Hey Ralph, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So Ralph, listen, can you tell me a bit about your drone? You know, stats such as power, weight, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, so right here we have the world's fastest film drone. It's just under one kilogram. It's about five horsepower, actually. Wow, five horsepower. Wait a minute, if I do the maths, you've got a power to weight ratio of like 5,000 horsepower per ton, whereas mine's just under 500 horsepower per ton. Oh dear. This launches really well though. What's the launch like on your drone? It's a bit more difficult because I first have to take off straight, then tilt it forwards, then I can go forwards. It's gonna be close. Oh, you're such a spot. I thought you were gonna start with it hovering in the air. You're gonna start with it landed. Yeah, I can't make it too easy on myself. <laughs> Oh yes, come on, I am in with a chance. Well, do you know what? I think we should see what happens, shouldn't we? Now, before we do though, if you haven't done so already and you like these kind of crazy drag races, make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss our next upload and you won't want to miss it because it's rather special. Okay, let's do this. You good to go? Your battery's all charged, mine's charged and ready to go? Yeah, same for me. Two electric vehicles racing, just a little bit different than your normal EV drag race. Three, two, one. Oh, traction issues. Where's that drone? He doesn't have to worry about traction. Oh, he just beat me. Oh, he doesn't have to worry about traction because he's up in the air. This car can go quicker, a lot quicker. He was spinning up its wheels. In fact, that's probably the worst launch I've ever had out of a Tesla Model S Plaid just because it's wet and slippy. I'm gonna have to have another go. He only just beat me. Let's get some heat into these tires. Come on, grip up. Oh, it's really all over the place. Right, I really, really need to get some heat into these tires. Come on. Hook, 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 it's just killing the power. This surface is not great. Good, I got the warning up saying brakes too hot, so they should be heating the tires from within. Maybe this will help. Hey Ralph, are you there, mate? Here, nice and easy in the tent. It's nice and dry here. Yeah, well, that brings me on to the problem I just had, right? No, I'm always full of excuses, and my excuse this time is that this surface is quite wet and quite slippy, so I didn't get a great launch. I had traction issues. Obviously, you don't have traction issues with your drones. I'd like another go, because it was rather close, and I think that if I can get this car to hook up, I might be able to beat you. Okay, well, I take the challenge, so let's uh, let's try again. Three, two, one. Bit better, come on! Whoa! So quick this car. Where is he? Oh, just ahead. Still not perfect. It's not liking the on the brakes. Come on, warm the tires. That was better though. I'm getting closer. Normally I'd do best two out of three and that'd be it. But I reckon you might be willing to give me one more chance and I think I can get a better launch. Let's find out what happens. Hey Ralph, I didn't get the greatest launch yet again, but it is getting better. Obviously you want this to be a fair race. So would you mind just letting me have one more go? Yeah, I'm always happy to fly as a drone, so uh, let's do it again. I reckon if I can just get a better like launch, initial launch, better hookup. I keep saying that, don't I? <laughs> let's see if it'll actually happen. Let's race. That is better. 
Come on, Tesla! Where is he? I can't see him coming past. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes, knew it. This could just hook up. This car is so quick. <laughs> yes. Well done, Tesla. Obviously, I've got to go again, but I think now, if I'm in the groove, I can win this. Ralph? Yes? I had you that time, matey. Yes, you did. Now my tyres are warm. I'm getting a better launch. I reckon this is going to be close. I'd like you to give me another chance, and I reckon maybe I might be able to beat you again. Actually, the last run, I just took my chance to like get some good shots of your car. Maybe it's time to show what the drone really can do. What, what do you mean? Just give me another shot. I'm not sure I like the sound of this, Ralph. Have you just been playing with me? I'm not sure I want to do this. I reckon he's just been winding me up. Maybe he's just trying to psych me out. Come on, Tesla. We won't be psyched out. It's the same drone. Why is he so... <laughs> Why is he laughing at me? I have a bad feeling about this. What the actual f What the f is that gun? <laughs> that was just bonkers. I think Ralph was just toying with me the whole time. That was on another level. Uh, it, it's, poof, gone. Wow. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Red Bull drone won. It completed the standing quarter mile in seven seconds. This is the quickest quarter mile time of any vehicle we've ever raced. Meanwhile, the Tesla took 10.5 seconds. Obviously, the slippery track really hampered its time because the best we've ever had out of a non-track pack version of the Model S Plaid is a standing quarter mile time of 9.7 seconds. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free. I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price. On with the video. You were just playing with me, weren't you? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> That. I thought it was like close and it was like similar speed. It was still really impressive, like the first few runs, but then when you actually show me what it could really do. Yeah. Having that power to weight ratio really helps out here because I can just go full throttle and it, it just speeds up. How do you even control it? I have the goggles on, so I see exactly what's happening in front of it. Like, I feel like I'm in the drone. That is insanely quick. But do you know what? Talking about the launch, you have to take off and then go forward. What I'd really like to see is what it's like when you're just like flying already and then you punch it. Okay, yeah, let's try that. I will just keep up with you. And then once every, whenever you call three to one go. You'll go. Let's do it. Okay, Ralph, coming round. I'm getting up to 50. Ralph, Ralph, Ralph. Here he is, his level. Right, three. Two, one, go! Frickin' heck, he's gone. Look at him go. Oh, I've got some speed up here. 50, to 70, to 90, 300, to 30. And that's over. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> he's like heading back down already. My God, I've never seen anything like it. That seemed even quicker that time. Yeah. So like, what, what kind of speeds are you doing? I was hitting um, 
uh, I think around 210 to 20 miles an hour. Whoa. So Ralph, what's the 0 to 100 kilometers an hour on that drone? I think about two seconds. Two it's seconds. Hard to measure because I have to, it depends on how fast I can get up and tilt it forward. So two seconds to 100 kilometers an hour or 60. What about um, from 100 kilometers to, I don't know, can you do 300 kilometers an hour? That's also around two seconds. So one second for every 100 kilometers an hour. I've got no chance. Wait a minute. We still need to do the brake test. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one. <laughs> Maybe you have the edge on this one. And you've got to brake in a straight line, right? I want to go do a turn, yeah. quick, but it's against the rules, right? I have to brake in a straight line. Brake in a straight line and don't drop out the air and brake your drone. I'm going to do my best. Okay, good luck. Come on. Right, I'm going to get up to 100. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, brake! Come on, brake car. God, the brakes on this, on this surface, I'm great. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ralph, did I just win? Go, go back a bit, you just came past me. I know you're hovering level with me now, but I saw you come past me a little bit. Is that where the drone actually stopped? Yes, yes it was. So uh, unfortunately uh, you won that one. Yes! <laughs> Do you know what? I didn't think that I did win it because the way you came past was quite slow, but that was you with your last bit of slowdown. Go Tesla! We won one! However, that drone is designed to chase Formula One cars. So what I think we need to do is switch cars now and do something a little bit different. I'm just gonna head over here to find out exactly what the drone's racing next. So have a look. <laughs> it's a Formula One car, an RB8 from 2012, and it's being driven by David Coulthard. So I wonder how that's gonna play out. I wish I put my ear defenders in. I'm so deaf. So we've got the Formula One car lined up on the start. We've got the drone next to it. They're gonna race all the way down this strip here. It's gonna be interesting to see what top speed the drone can do. It's gonna beat the Formula One car for sure. I think David's gonna struggle off the line worse than I did because his rear wheel drive, but he should pick up speed and actually get quicker than I was able to get to down this run. Will he catch the drone up? <laughs> I doubt it. Good luck, David. You're gonna need it. so cool coming down there. All right, David, hello again. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I'm all right, thanks. Last time I saw you, you got beat by uh, a Chiron and uh, you also raced an electric radar control car, didn't you? Yeah, that was really impressive. It beat me as well. It beat you, it beat you as well, <laughs> but not by as much as that drone just beat you. I think the drone's in London. Yeah, it's so fast. It's so fast. I mean, I raced yeah. it in this Tesla and I've got four-wheel drive, slippy surface, so I got a questionable launch. How was it for you? Well, it was already halfway down that mile straight before I got into second gear and stopped spinning the wheels. So, as you know, a Grand Prix car, it's just, it's got no downforce, so it's got no grip until you're getting, you know, above 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, so the drone well and truly beat me on this occasion, but I reckon around the racetrack, is going to struggle. You reckon? Yeah! It's designed to keep up with Formula One cars. It can't do that as quickly as we can. Okay, so you are hamstrung by being in a straight line on a slippy yes. surface. Yes. What's the top speed of this car? Well, it, if you winged it out, it would do 200 odd miles an hour, but with that level of drag, it's probably 200 flat. Okay, do you know how quick he went down there? 300 and something kilometers an hour, yeah, so it's so like he did, 250 miles an hour. He did about 210 mile an hour oh, down okay. there. So even, with minimal drag, yeah. and you could have hooked this up, top speed, 
he's got you. On this wing configuration, but this is, let's say, a general wing. Yeah, if we were doing like a Monza wing setup, which is thinking about it, probably what we should have done. But uh, given the conditions, it was no contest today. Okay, but you're saying you would like to try it round a Formula One circuit yeah. and see what happens then. But with my sort of special ingredient, which is not 52 year old me driving, okay. Max Verstappen. Right. Then, then there's a real chance. Well, maybe one day we will get to see that. Listen, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much, David. So. Shame you lost again. You don't look at all. <laughs> so can you fake some <laughs> real emotion in that? Do you know yeah. what? I was pleased that it beat you by more than, than it beat me by. But there we go. Thank yeah. you very much. All right. All and the best. Congratulations for actually getting it off the line, I've got to say, because that looks pretty mental. Yeah, a bit slippy. Ralph, congratulations, you won again. Thanks. Now, I was just speaking to David <laughs> Coulthard, and he was yeah. saying that, you know, he was having a little bit of moan about the traction. Like, like you know, I struggled with traction, but yeah, I don't yeah. think it really made that much of a difference. Uh, it's all excuses, you know. I can complain about the headwind as well, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you don't, do you? You won by <laughs> quite a clear margin. Yeah. Now, one thing that David did say uh -huh. was that he reckoned, round a Formula One circuit, when you put some corners into it, yeah. that Max Verstappen, in a Formula One car uh -huh. would beat your drone around an F1 circuit. Um, now, I know yeah. the lap record at Silverstone uh -huh. is max, 2020, it's a 127. Okay. Have you timed this around Silverstone? I have not, but I would reckon if I go a bit full throttle on this, uh, we could beat that in theory. Wow. I think so. Do you know what? It won't, it won't be close, but yeah. Maybe Red Bull will set that up. Until then, <laughs> watch this space. And do you mind if I have a quick look at this? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I'd love one of these. That'd be awesome. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think of this drone in the comments below. Who do you think would win? Max, Round and Silverstone, or this? Now, if you want to watch some of the videos, click on the windows and click on the CarWow logo to get the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard. See you later.